Hi, my name is Clayton Rush, and for my science experiment, I'm doing how to get water out of a bottle quickly. Now, for this experiment, you're going to need one bottle. It could be a two liter or a one liter. You need water in the bottle, and you need somewhere to pour the water into, whether it be a bowl like I have or a sink. Now, the question is, how do we get water out of a bottle quickly? Now, uh, usually when you pour water out of a bottle, it tends to look like this. It comes out very slowly. That took about 10 seconds to completely empty out the water bottle. Uh, and now the reason for that is, the reason that it's so slow is because as water is coming out of the bottle, there's air that comes into the bottle and the water tries to resist the air that's coming into the bottle and vice versa. The air is trying to resist the water that's coming out of the bottle. That's why when you pour it, it has that, that pause effect, like water comes out, air comes in, water comes out. That's when you get that, that bubble inside the uh, water bottle. Now, um, what we want to ask ourselves is, uh, how, can we, how can we eliminate the air factor and get rid of the air? That way the water can just pour out smoothly without having any, without having any pauses in between. And I'll show you that once I pull up this water bottle again. Notice how in the beginning and, uh, and now, uh, I left about four inches of space uh, in between the bottle, and that's going to play into it. That's going to come into effect now. Um, I mean, no bottle, no bottle is usually filled up to the to the top. So now, what we want to do is we want to ask ourselves how do we how do we eliminate the air factor? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cuff our hand on top of the bottle, take the bottle upside down, and in this region of space up top. What we want to do is we want to shake this bottle. We want to shake it almost, almost like a tornado. And by putting my hand under the uh, bottle, I'm eliminating the air from coming in. And the bottle, is, the, the water is at the very bottom, ready, ready to come straight out. And as we're rotating this, notice how the tornado comes into this, uh, into this bottle. And that took about four seconds because we eliminated the air factor from, from coming in and uh, the water didn't have to resist the, water, the, uh, the air coming in. That way it just shot straight out. Therefore, we can conclude that uh, air resistance prevents water from coming straight out of a bottle. Uh, and that's my experiment, how to get water out of a bottle quickly. Thank you.